Hi guys. Again, you know me. I'm always a couple minutes early just because I want to make sure that everything is set up the way that it's supposed to be set up. Dad's outside, um, but he's getting ready to come in here in a few minutes. But he's under strict orders that he's not to let anybody in and he has to behave himself. So I know that a lot of you like it when dad is in the videos. So I asked him to come down here and stay. So we shall see. And also fingers crossed that I don't start buffering. Uh, like what happened last week. Typically when I stay to the front of the shop, it tends to do a little bit better. When I go in the back of the shop towards the back um, is when it can be a little hairy. Hi guys, Merry Christmas, Janet. Merry Christmas, Elsa. I love the, qu oh good, thank you. I'm so glad that you loved him. Um, I am doing a sale um, for my my customers that walk in. 40% off on off the Christmas stuff because I'd really like to not um, have to store it. So as I'm walking around, if there's something, I'm not going to necessarily do five, one of my five things be a Christmas item. But if you notice a Christmas item that you might be interested in, let me know because it is 40% off today. So I, I do this. I don't, I kind of cherry pick some of the stuff, but honestly, we've sold a lot of stuff. Hi, Auntie Nomad. Merry Christmas. It was busy yesterday. I, um, hi, Sandra. Lock the door, Dad. Dad's just coming in. Lock the door. Sometimes if people see lights on, which is a good thing, they want to come in, but, I mean, I'm not open yet. And I get here early, so I can come on here and talk to you guys. There's Dad. Good morning, guys. Um, everyone says hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Um, I hope that you guys are all ready for Christmas since it, it is four days away, five days away. I don't know. I don't like to keep track because then I get stressed out. I do have all of my shopping done. Hi, Tammy. I have all my shopping done, but I don't have it wrapped. I have no nothing baked. So tomorrow, um, Emma and I are going to make cookies. And I think we might film a little bit. We might do a little bit of a Christmas cookie video. Um, did dad's stuff sell? Which stuff? Which stuff? Refresh my memory. Um, but now my daughter has a YouTube channel. And it was the longest time we were, it was like a little jokey thing that I was, we were like, I'm going to get more subscribers than you because she's young. And, you know, sometimes you think of YouTube being, you know, popular for the young kids. But that's not the case because us old people, we like the YouTube too. I watch the YouTube all the time. I'm trying to refresh my comments. Hi, Blooded Whiskey. Hi, Judy. I'm glad that you love Five Things Friday. Hi, Lynn. Um, I know that not everybody likes the live videos, um, but I like them, and I, that's all that matters. Like, I came to the shop to the air now. I wash it and let it air dry and hope for the best. That's why I got it kind of got it cut off. Hi, Leah. Um. But I was going to say on my daughter's YouTube channel, I will link her channel below. She hasn't posted a video in a while, but um, she said that she's going to start up again. But, you know, she's in college and her videos are edited to perfection. Uh, mine aren't, but hers are. Hi, Lynn. Oh, you loved your angel. Yeah, Lynn and Sandra, they buy lots of stuff for me. And I actually have to grab these little guys. Because they have sold these little creepy little prixies. So I have to put these on the counter. I don't know what Dad's doing. Dad, why are you doing? Setting on stage. Well, you're supposed to be in the video. I am in the video. No, you're not. You're way over there. That's close enough. Okay. Do you see him? Wave, Dad. Where are you at? I don't over see you. Here. Oh, there he is. You see him? Right Sit there. Sit down here on the stage. He's sitting on the stage. You, are you going to perform a song? I will sing here in a little bit. They request. Request. He's taking song requests. So if you would like my dad to sing I to you. Willie Nelson he, and Elvis. He looks a lot like Willie Nelson. When he comes closer to the camera, take, take notice because he does look a lot like Willie Nelson. Okay. And also, I broke my tripod this morning, so there's that. Let's go ahead and get started with the five things. I'll turn the camera around and um, we'll see. We'll pick out five things. Again, if you see anything that sparks your interest, 
you can send me an email. My email um, will be linked after this goes exports and does all that stuff that it needs to do. Um, I will, my email is in the description. So you can send me an email and, um, you know, we can, we can talk about it from there. I can get you a shipping quote and all that kind of fun stuff. So, um, let's go ahead and turn the camera around to something more interesting to look at than my wet hair. Okay. I did notice one thing that I think I'm going to do. This is something that we've had for a while, and it is this beautiful, uh, and it is a hand-blown perfume bottle. Um, it has the little cork stopper in it still. It's in great condition. The cork actually is kind of stuck in the bottle, but it does have the stopper. I have 1250 on it, and I, I haven't really researched it to see. I know it's probably it, it made by a, a company that I just kind of priced it and kind of stuck it up here. But, um, so this is going to be number one. Oh yes. Thanks, Teresa. Yes. Please give me a thumbs up. Oopsie. I have our flag on the floor and let's see how many times I'm going to trip on it. I'll, once I open, I'll stick that out. So this is, this is number one. Oh, Sandra, S Sandra wants it. All right, Sandra. Sandra's claimed the perfume bottle. She'll send an email. So there is that. Um, one, uh, let's see, what else? What else should I do over here, guys? Do you see anybody or anything that you want me to talk about? I do have, this is like kind of the white section. I still have this Pyrex Candle Glow. Uh, or Fire King, actually. Sorry, it's not Pyrex. It's Fire King. For nine dollars for that, and I do have the little, the little soup, little handled soup things for four dollars. Good morning, Nicole. Merry Christmas. I hope you guys and you and your boys and your hubby are doing well. Okay. Oh, there's Dad. Dad, what would you like to talk about? Well, I'd actually like to write something upstairs, downstairs. Do you Gizmos. Remember, you've been doing kind of gizmos, like okay. old electronic things and stuff like that. Well, if you want There's to. some kind of medical device. Well, I am going to do a medical device that's over here. Well, can I bring it You can bring it down. down. Right. He's always wanting to bring stuff down. This okay. is something that I noticed. Now, I have not listed the, the stuff from last week. I haven't even listed it. I haven't taken pictures of it because I'm just trying to play catch up. So, um, the stuff that was in my video last week is still not been listed and i sold something there because there's a big hole what was oh there was a okay there was a shelf there um that's what it was it was um it had doorknobs on it a friend of ours made it so that's what has sold it was in this heavy duty see those well you probably can't see those heavy duty screws is what we used to hold it up all right dad i know he's something he always wants me to show this or show that i told him he had to behave We'll see. This was the thing that I I think I'm going to do it online because, honestly, it is going to sell better on eBay on a worldwide market than in the shop. But it is this Master Electric Company. It's a Violet Ray machine. So it's a, another quack medical device. It's in its case. Let me move it over here where you can see it a little bit better. I brought some ornaments that I'm going to list. I in, I list Christmas all year round. I've gotten all these drafted on eBay. I just had to take pictures of them today while I'm here. But it's in this box. The box does have dovetailing on it. But this is just, this stuff just is just bizarre. But you put this somewhere on your body and it has, it's a vi ultraviolet ray machine. So it's just that one of those quack medical devices that were so popular back in the, oh, probably the 20s, 30s, that has the old cord on it. I am not plugging this in, so I am, I don't know if it works, but um, it is, you can see the label here. Hi, guys. If you're just coming in, does the violet ray, I, no, I am not going to demo this. Dad, I don't really want Dad to demo it either. No, you plug this we will, though. <laughs> what? Yes, this is. Somehow you lay your arm in here. It's got like an S and light bulb there. And then you plug it in. No, and... we're not demonstrating that. I, <laughs> I, I don't know what it does. Um, did somebody, is this, look, no, you put your, you put your body, you put your arm, is it a, it's not a tattoo. I don't know, but look at, 
Is it this a, old cord. Is it a tattoo thing? No. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Let me give you a tattoo. We'll but try look at, it out. Look Hi, Mama Jay. Look at this switches. Look at that old switch. Look at the old bulb and the porcelain. Okay, this is something. This might be... Do you? Yeah, no, everyone's saying, no, don't do it. <laughs> this looks to me like it's like a homemade tattoo something. Because, like, wouldn't you put your or arm a medical here? medical device or something. Look. See, there's my tattoo on my wrist. All right, yeah, let me So you'd put... <laughs> no, let me just see. Could you do that with that? Oh, no, but would no. you use electricity to do it? I'm not using anything to do it because no, I am not. Saying, I don't I'm not plugging that in. It's some kind of medical device. Yeah, right? old electrical. They can be scary, but they do still work. I don't know. Uh, I'll make sure Mark has his life insurance. Oh, my phone's ringing. No, that's, that's your mine. phone. Sanford and Sons ringing. Go. I will. <laughs> I'll see if Mark's life insurance policy is a. Uh, is up to date. We'll have him. We'll have him check it out. That is totally a joke, guys. It's a total, total joke. Um, but these, I mean, okay. I, we'll say that this is these two things. Oh my good grief! This probably weighs about twenty pounds. Seriously. So these will be. So that's. I don't know if I'm going to count. This is just going to be a bonus. But they are cool. But this is heavy. Uh, that has to weigh at least 20 pounds. I mean, it, it, it's, that's, Mark will like looking at that. But we'll, we'll take that home and have him research that one a little bit. So I've got, Sandra has claimed the perfume bottles. Those are already gone. So we have these two things. So let's walk over here. You guys... You, like I said, if you see anything you want me to, um, you know, yeah. mention, then then let me know, or you want to you want to see. Um, I'm just trying to look for, I'm trying to look for things that I, that I know is going to be a harder thing to sell here in the store, but it will be easier an easier sell to sell online. Um, I, you know, that's the thing when you have an antique store or an antique booth. Um, you kind of get to know who your who your customers are, um, and you know I can see. Oh yes, I do, Mama J. I still I I'm bringing it home with me. I haven't been to the shop. Our employee worked for us yesterday. Mama J. Ba is wanting to buy this thing, this little miniature life magazine. So I'm gonna put it here. Mama J. Send me another email because. Um, that will help remind me. And why am I putting it in there? I'll put it over here. Okay. So let's see. Let me look here. Misty. Yeah. Good morning. Kids. Get 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 fit fancy pants. I like that name. What, Dad? If anybody would know what this might be. I know. Well, I'll let Mark. Mark will have fun. Well, maybe. But that's a, a really heavy thing to have to ship too. Good grief. All right, let's see. Well, we, we've got this little, I have this little dresser here uh, that I have just some little, little tchotchkes and little, little things on. Now, this I may end up taking home with me. I don't know if I'll, maybe we'll all include this because I, I've been selling these uh, vintage watch cases pretty readily. I sold two of them this week. This is a Bolova fifth avenue people do collect these now i don't know if just because it's the holidays maybe somebody is getting a vintage watch for christmas and the giver is wanting to put it in a vintage box i don't know but it has this kind of french ivory um down at the bottom so and i have ten dollars on it um, but i'm going to try this because i'm curious to see if even after christmas if this is going to be something that um is still going to sell online. So I'm going to include that. And what else do I have over here? Um, this is just kind of a, this is not, it's, I think somebody has made that. Then I have this sachet, this Dear Kiss from Kierkoff. It's a sachet, but it's a little, and it still, it still has the powder inside. Yeah, I, I know. I will get a lot more online. That's why I thought I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Um, this little 
glass bottle. I have $15 on it, but doesn't it look really cute just sitting up on like a vintage, like a little vintage vanity or your bathroom. So I'm going to think about this one. This one's going to be maybe a possibility in the running. And then look at this little miniature. Uh, it's a pin. It's a little pin back pin and it's a little slotted spoon. Now it isn't marked. What is it marked? Do I have it on here? No, it's not marked sterling or anything like that, but I've had it for a while. At first, I thought it was like a little salt cellar spoon, but it has this pin on the back, but it's a slotted spoon. That's kind of, that's kind of a little neat thing. I've had that for a while, too. I see Dad's walking behind me. He's got something he wants to say. What no, you got, no, Dad? No, no. no? So let's try, let's do this watch box. So that will be the third thing and like i said i'm going to try to stay at the front of the shop because when i go to the back of the shop is when i lose connection it seems like so we have one two and three but this is already sold and that we're going to research how about him how much should we sell him for cheap. million dollars i go cheap <laughs> i still haven't figured out what my customers buy from my booth in anderson it's all over the place yeah anderson's kind of Anderson used to be really good when the factories were still there. Now it just seems like Anderson is, I don't, I'm not sure what the, what the buying base, what the customer base is in Anderson. I, I think that it's probably down. Um, but again, here in Bedford, I, my customer base is, is not always, you know, I, I, I do get people coming down from Bloomington a lot because my prices are a lot cheaper here than what they are in Bloomington. But I don't know. Oh, Sandra... There's people said that they'll take you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Treat me well. Please. I'm sure your dad is priceless. He is priceless. Oh, mom's on. Derry is my mom. She's on. Hi, Derry. Mom, how much should we sell dad for? She'll probably say, give him away. He's free. No, that's fine. My parents have been divorced for over 20 years, 25 years. I have no idea. Over 25 years, I think. But they're... They're the best of friends. We're, we're great. Um, oh, you did a thousand dollars last month. Now, a Andrea, is that in Anderson at your booth? <laughs> mom, mom said you were free. Thousand dollars is a great is great. That's a great month. There are I've got a now. <laughs> no, she, they're not going to get remarried. Their mom's married. Um, this is looking pretty sparse over here because I sold. Well, I just took that little quack medical device. Honestly. The shop is looking a little not like I like it to, but I'm not zhuzhing it up yet because after Christmas is over, I got to redo the whole thing again. So it is going to be what it is for now. Okay. Hey, guys. Oh, hi, Francis. Hope you have a great Christmas, too. Oh, let's we'll start the bidding for Dad. <laughs> Someone said, hi, Misty's mom. My mom's name is Daria. Great choices so far. Yeah. So we have to have, we have two more selections we need to make so let's see um, 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 um oh let's see what shall we pick again i'm staying in the front of the shop because i'll lose my connection let's see let's try the green area uh, 19.95 and free shipping for dad <laughs> that's, that's a little cheap <laughs> uh, I wouldn't even pay that. Seems like I just decorated. Yeah, I know. It seems like it does seem like I just decorated, and that's the uh, the the joy and the pain of having a shop is you get it all decorated, and then you have to do it all over again. And honestly, I get kind of, I get sad after Christmas because it looks so festive and fun. And why isn't that Christmas tree light on? I've been having problems with my lighting over in that area over there. Um, but then you take all the Christmas stuff down. It's like, oh, it's just plain and boring and not festive in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Jadeite curling iron. No, it wasn't a jadeite curling iron, Tammy. It's a, it was a wooden, um, let me go back over there because that maybe that's something that I should try because I've had it for a while. We are located in Bedford, Indiana. It's a Southern Indiana. It's about... We're actually, we're about two hours south of Indianapolis and about two hours north of Louisville, Kentucky. So we're kind of right smack dab in the middle. Tammy, this is just a wooden, 
Curling, curling iron. iron. So the handles is Curling. like a jadeite color, but it's not it's jadeite. And but the thing of it is, this is since it has this damage on it. That's I sometimes am always reluctant to sell things like this online because. You know how eBay customers can be sometimes, and they're like, well, that wasn't, it's damaged. Well, I know it's damaged. Damage, well, it's got a big chunk missing out of the top where this metal is. But I only have, I have $6 on it. So if this is something that you might be interested in, you can shoot me an email and I can, I can grab it. Um, no, I don't make a holiday section because I get excited over decorating for the holidays. And... It does, I have a holiday open house that does bring in a, it's one of our busiest days. People look forward to it every year. So I think sometimes just having the, turn my camera around. I think sometimes just having like the anticipation and the buildup of something, hi Holly, um, it, it can bring people in. Um, you did the Stewart's Antique Show. Oh yeah, great. I'm so glad that you did good. Yeah, that's one place that used to be a huge thing to go to. You remember, Dad, the Stewart's Antique Show in Indianapolis mm -hmm. that they had at the fairgrounds? We used to go to it, it as a awesome. kid. Yes, every year. Okay, email. Oh, and Tammy, I sent you an email. I need your address because I have something for you that I wanted to send to you. So if you end up wanting the curling iron, I'll just include that with my little friend mail for you. But I sent you an email because um, I have something for you that I wanted to get sent off. Um. And it's a kind of a Christmassy thing, so you just will get it probably after Christmas. But if you give me your address, I'll ship it out tomorrow. Um, I have it all ready. I have it all packaged up and ready. Okay, so we're going back over to the green section because I thought I might try. Oh, let me turn the camera around because this is more interesting to see the stuff here than it is my big old face. Um... Oh, let's see. Any amber glass. Uh, I do have some amber glass. I'll I'll show you here in just a second. Um, what is? It? No, I'm not gonna do a planter. Uh, what if I did this little Dutch girl? I did sell her big sister. Ooh. This is an old tag. These brown tags have been around a while so this little dutch girl i think i have 850 on her i've had her for a while i believe that she is probably shawnee and so i think look at her and her little she's she's tired and have had, has had enough of being the milkmaid face Pick, <laughs> prixies are so funny yes dad what are those little elves called i don't even Yes, you do. There's no, one. Yeah, he, he won't say it now because we want him to. What are these called, Dad? Elves. No. <laughs> what are the things that go on? Prixies. The prixies. What are the things that go on top of oil lamps called? Globes. No, that's not what. Chimleys. You, chimleys. And what are the pink birds that live in Florida called? Flamingos. Flamingos. We got flamingos. And everyone's saying, hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. I just got my <laughs> green card. <laughs> he's he's talking nonsense. Well, I mean, God, you make me sound like you can't even... Oh, Sandra. Sandra is wanting the Dutch girl, too. Boy, Sandra, you're going to have a nice little package coming. Oh, um, the Antique Nomad collects Framingos. Now you're always the same Framingos now, probably. We call... We tend to call the things that Dad calls things we tend to adopt that that name for these things too this is something i like this i think that this is precious look at this it's a little like a hand painted ceramic piece but that it's in this yellow color if you sprinkle when you tinkle be a sweetie and wipe the cd isn't that fun what i have on that i have ten dollars on that I think I'm going to try this. This is, I mean, it's just a little ceramic piece. This actually might be a good thing for me to experiment with on, on Etsy, too. Um, but you just hang it next in your bathroom, and isn't it fun? Please be a CD and wipe the CD. So I think I'm going to do that. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So we have our five things. Um, 
Is there anything else in the shop that any you guys want to see? No more elves or prixies. <laughs> are those? Nope. Right here. Do you see them? Patricia, are these the ones? I, I, I pulled them back for you. Patricia, one of these little, these little pixies or prixies. <laughs> I'm so, so we, confused. <laughs> that's what we call them now. I don't know what I, I brought about. these because I wanted to, to talk about these in the video. I still have th three lot, four lots of these vintage Christmas cards. Do I have any Holt Howard? Well, Tammy, I do, but I'm I also am a Holt Howard hoarder. I love Holt Howard too. Um, I don't have any pieces in the shop that are Holt. <coughs> Actually, wait, I take that back. I think I do, Tammy. I'll show it in just a second. Um, everyone says they've been, they've been calling them Prixies too. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Makes me feel good. Ma yeah. They're Prixies now. Michigan oh. says hello. Oh, we love Michigan. Michigan. <laughs> that's my home. Away that, from home. That's our, I always say it's my homeland, even though I was born and raised in Indiana. Those are the original Pixies from the 1940s. Yep. They sure are. Pillow. Oh, my mom makes pillows. She wants me to, she wants me to. Show some of her pillows that she sells in the store. All right. I wanted to show these real quick first. I have four lots of these Christmas cards. These um, have never been written in at all. These were in my Christmas card haul video. So I have these, uh, and I have them sealed in this bag, which was made no sense for me to show those sealed in the bag. But then there are 13 of these um, cards are these are all the ones with just words and stuff in them. Um, and then I have these. There are uh, six of these little Christmas, children's Christmas cards. The ones that you, they're, and these, none of these have been, none of these have been used. They're all unused. Um, with a little color page on the back. And then there's 11 of these um, with the nativity and angels. No. I think these are all the nativity and candles, maybe. I think I included those together. So these are all still available. I'll link that video in the description below too, where I have the prices on them as well. And in, in any of the stuff that you see that you want, I will be taking it home, getting it weighed, and I will be shipping it tomorrow. So I don't think that, I don't know if you'd get it by Christmas, but it will be out the door tomorrow. All right, the Santa planter that I showed last week. Yes. Holt Howard salt and pepper shakers. Um, are the whole are the Holt Howard salt and pepper shakers all ones that squeak? No. Some of them do, but not all of them do. Um, Lynn, is this the snowman that you were talking about? I've got this. He's a planter. I have this one. And then I have um Oh, hopefully I won't lose connection. We'll see. I have the working in the coal mine Santa. This one here. I don't know why they painted him to look dirty, but that's the way he's painted. And he's also a planter. I still have the Santa macrame. He's still available. I don't know why anybody wouldn't have wanted him. And these vintage stockings are all still i'm surprised that a lot of this stuff is still here like the these are not holt howard but they look very holt howard-esque they're eight dollars i have two of them this is just one of them um and then the boot and that really fun norman rockwell christmas santa plate he is twelve fifty. And my mom's lanterns, they're all still here. Mom, your lanterns are oh, all still here. She sold some, didn't she? Yeah, she sold, uh, yeah, she sold a few of them. Okay, so Tammy, Holt Howard. The only Holt Howard thing I have in the shop right now is this holly berry. It has the plastic um, holly greenery on it. Little candle holder with this round candle. And it does have the original box. And you can see here it is a Holt Howard from British Hong Kong. There's the box there. So it does have the original box with it as well. And it is $4.
So if that is, oh, let me see. Any Xmas blow molds? Yes, I do have some Christmas blow molds. I have some candy canes that are here in this wash pan. Oh, there was a Santa there. He must have sold. He was a Santa there. I do have this Santa. This one's a really nice one. It's a planter, and he is $18, but he's 40% off. So there's that one. I don't know if that was the one that you were talking about, Lynn. I still have the Christmas telephone address book. Christmas card list book. Three dollars and the aluminum cookie cutters, and I also have this Santa. Actually, I'm gonna no, I was gonna move him. I have this Santa too. He's also a little home ceramic piece. He's eighteen dollars, forty percent off. Yeah, he's just a homemade, home painted. I say homemade, but home painted Santa. Okay, let me look at the at the feed. Um, pillows out of old Christmas linens. Yep, here's some of them here. Well, these are old linens. I think I've sold all of those. No, I don't. So these are still available, guys. My mom's Christmas pillows. This is vintage fabric that I thrifted that she's turned into pillows. These little, like little Yorkie looking. That kind of looks like your dog, Mom. Um, they're $15, but they're 40% off. And she, my mom has made them. And they're all a little different. The kitty ones have sold. Um, there's, there's this. Now, this is not vintage fabric, but it does have kitty cats on it. Um, that one's $12.50, but these are $15, 40% off. And then there's also this one with the truck with the golden retriever she made. Where are you going, Dad? Well, what do you want me to bring down? N nothing right now. Oh, $15. <laughs> He always wants to bring stuff down, but I'm trying to, like, not put a bunch of new stuff out until I get the shop rearranged again. And Santa down there is $15. So, Mom has made all of those. Oh, thanks for joining, Tammy. Yeah, email me later. And let me know if you want that curling iron, too, and the other whole hour piece, and I'll bring those home today. Because I won't be here tomorrow. The pillows are adorable. She does a good job. Which one, Lynn? Which Santa are you wanting? Okay, I got you, Tammy. I got you. I'll, I'll grab that. Um, the, the truck pillow is $15. But I will give you the 40% off, which would make it. I'm not going to do math. I'm not going to do math live on YouTube because it'll be wrong. Because I, I was a reading teacher, not a math teacher. So if you want this, just send me an email. I can grab it today or any of the, any of the pillows, actually. Um, okay. The aluminum trees are for sale, but I'm not shipping them. That's the only bad thing. I did ship one, um, and I think she was having some problems with it. So just kind of, oh, I don't know. And on and these Christmas trees, if I sell them here, it's, it's less work for me to have to package them up. And... If I have them for next year, then I'll just use them for decor. But um, I have a hundred dollars, uh, no, one hundred twenty-five dollars each. On I have two pom pom trees this size, and then the big, the big one right there um, is two hundred and fifty. And but it has the rotating base and everything. The one you showed by the address book. Okay, gotcha. So I will grab. I'll grab him. And put them up. Now, Lynn, make sure that you send me an email with all the with a list of the things that you had wanted. So I make sure that I have it all. And my email will be in the in the description once this goes back. Send me an email about the pillow. Great. Look, mom, you sold a pillow. Yay. Okay, let me turn the so what time is it? 1031. Um, I this, I'm not going to go live next Friday because we'll be out of town. And I will, um, that's coming back in. I am, lock the door, Dad. He has to lock the door because we'll get people coming in. Um, I'm not going to go live next Friday um, because I will be out of town. And um, 
I'm not sure. I have to look at my calendar. I kind of have some things slotted and scheduled to go out on YouTube. But um, until Christmas is over, it might be... It, I mean, I, I posted and uploaded a video every single day this week. Um, which isn't what I normally do, but I had the stuff to, to do, and so I did. Um, we will be in Anderson, actually. <laughs> and I'm going to go to a couple flea markets and thrift stores in Anderson, so I'm probably going to film a little bit there. But it probably that stuff won't get edited until we're home from visiting family. Oh, yeah, and we're going to an auction on New Year's Day, so we will be, I will be filming that. Um, there are two auction houses that are both having auctions on the same day, and I like one auction company better than the other. So I'm going to that one, and hopefully everybody else will be at the other one. Okay, uh, do you have a blue hugger elf? No, I did, but I, it's no longer here, because I it was in the blue section, and he's gone. He's not there. I don't have him anymore. Um, okay, so if you guys have any other questions or anything, and do you have any questions for Dad? Hmm. Come here, Dad. He keeps going over here like he doesn't want to be on film. Well, I'm a little shocked. Please don't forget to give Misty and Dad a thumbs up. Thank you, Tammy. Tammy, I just did. I did a whole uh, marathon of watching your videos yesterday while I was while I was working. So, and make sure that you go to Tammy Tammy Roberts' channel and like her channel as well and watch her videos and. Give her some support and some love. Um, come to the Emporium. The, oh, that's the one where the marsh used to be, right, Andrea? Was that the one where marsh used to be? Because I've went in there once. And, I, and, I, yeah, and I'm, yes, and yes, I'm hoping yes, to go yes. in there and snag up a bunch of Christmas stuff that's on sale. Yes, you've been in there more than once. That's... Yes, everybody loves Tammy. We're Tam fams, right? What were you saying? He, does, he has no idea what I'm you... talking about, Tammy. He doesn't watch the YouTube. Yes, Emporium. Oh, that's where we're Big Lots used yes. to be. Yeah, I know where the Emporium. Oh, God. Flashback. It's been... <laughs> she had a ball bout. I had a ball bout well, in my brain. One lit up. Here, let me turn around here so we can see Dad, too. Um, yes, there is a, a a new little flea market in Anderson by where the marsh used to be. Dad, have you been in that one? No. Oh, well. I'm gonna to go to that one too. And there's a thrift store, thrift store that's associated with, I think St. Vincent, um, and it is um, called, what is it called, Brother? Oh well, that's there on a fifty. Where the bread store Street, used to be. Fifty third Street. Yeah, right it's called Man for Man, and I used to think it was called something else. If you it's take out homeless four, man. Homeless and man, I would I say. But I'm not going to say what I thought that it was, and I called it that for years. Here, I, I always talk about Dad saying things wrong. Well, I really said the name of that thrift store wrong for to too many people for so long. But it's not man. It's called Man for Man, and it's to help, like, homeless for men. Homeless like, yeah. people. Okay. Tam fam, my family. Yes, we love you, Tammy. I'm just kind of stro strolling down to see. Merry Christmas, everybody. Trader Bucks. Is that what it's called? I didn't, I guess I didn't know the name of it. But hey, hey from Western North Carolina. Oh, I bet it's, the weather's a lot nicer there than it is here. St. Vincent stores are great. They are, but I'm not a fan of the one here in Bedford. I like the people that work there, and I like their concept that they do give back a lot for the community. But I don't like... I don't like shopping in there. First of all, the parking is horrible. I get mad before I even walk in the door because yes. you can't ever park anywhere. You get blocked in and it people just park all willy-nilly and it drives me crazy. And then there's always people that in there that are screaming, yelling at their children. And, and it's small. It's, it's so small. small and it's hot. Packed. And I don't like, I, I want to just, I have a hard time keeping my mouth shut when a child is just getting reamed for like wanting to get out of the cart for five seconds because it's been shoved in there for an hour. Anyway, I'm not even going to talk about that. Uh, Lynn emailed me. Great, great, great. Yes, please, everybody, give me a thumbs up. There's 63 people walking, watching and 21 thumbs up. So give me a thumbs up. That really give does help my one. channel. Give dad, get, everybody give a thumbs up for dad. Please. Tammy's YouTube Tamil channel is just called Tammy Roberts. And she is the most honest and um, 
and big hearted and real person and she just tells it how it is and and she doesn't she doesn't resell she she just likes to collect she's just a good old collector okay i like the one in wheeling west virginia the closer to me the oh the saint vincent okay i was like well what is it hi david hi mary gilbert arizona now dad you know where gilbert arizona is i do Okay, Dad grew up in Phoenix, Arizona. Well, Start out in Sunny Slope, Arizona, and he went to Camelback High. Class of what, Dad? I don't remember. You don't remember when you graduated high school? Oh God, it must have been 1960, 1910? 66. 1966. So he went to Camelback High. So Marty, do you know Camelback High? Have you heard of Camelback High near the Camelback Mountain? Go Spartans. <laughs> Go Spartans. Um, okay. Basketball team. Oh, <laughs> Tammy had a starter truck. I know. I had a... My car was all frozen this morning, too. Tammy's home is wonderful. She's done... I, I mean, I put all this time and energy at the shop. Tammy does that at her house, guys. It's at her house, and it's amazing. She could open up a shop in her house. She's decorated her shelf that look like shop, wind, shop windows. So, yeah, it is fun to see where everybody is at. That, that, that is the fun thing. Oh, Dad's getting called again. See, Dad's friend John is watching right now. Hi, John. Everybody say hi to John. And he keeps calling Dad. Now this is your mother. Oh, it's my mother. My mother is calling. Thank you, Lynn. Yeah, I, that video I did really, really quick. And um, I was trying to, and I didn't really, I needed, to, I probably should have straightened up a little bit more, but we're just real. I live in, my home is a reseller home, and I work from my, out of my home, and there's always boxes, and there's always wrapping, bubble wrap, and there's just stuff everywhere. And that's just the way we live. Okay. Pennsylvania. Oh, it's cold. It's cold here, but... I had seen that on Christmas Day here in Indiana, it was supposed to be close to 60. That's just wrong in Indiana. We should have snow, and and then after Christmas, the snow can go away and not, not come back, but that's not the case. Hi, Pammy. <laughs> My home looks like a museum. It's a Santa museum. I could open up the Santa museum. Um, but see, look. I don't keep all the Santas. I sell some Santas. Um, we are kind of considering maybe moving into a to have a little bit more space. And I can only imagine the amounts of Santas I could have if I had a bigger house. Wouldn't that be great? I'd like to find a house that would be suitable for my business to be able to expand. Well, no, honestly, to be able to not have reselling in my dining room, honestly. 40s and North. Hi, Crafty Jackie. Craft Jackie, I absolutely love the necklaces that you sent to me. It was it, gorgeous. I love that people take broken pieces of pottery in China and turn them into something else useful. I haven't showed Dad yet, but um, she sent me a necklace that was made out of a piece of Nortaki, China. Oh, I'd love to see it. Oh, it's so pretty. I like that. Mom theory. said she butt dialed you. Oh, good. I couldn't <laughs> could figure it phone out anyway. Central Texas. So. Mom butt dialed. Um, Margarita is from Central Texas. I bet it's warm there. I loved Texas. Um, my husband and I went there a couple couple times to visit a friend of ours that lives in near Dallas-Fort Worth. And there is some good eating in Texas. Oh, my gosh. The food is so good there. That in California. Man, you, the eating is so good. Hi, guys. It's ding, dang cold in Utah, I bet. Tell Dad it's going to be 76 in Arizona. Awesome. Is that in Arizona? And thanks for watching my building. Oh, that. Oh, That's, That's John. John. <laughs> John, you are two Buicks? That's your YouTube name? What does that mean exactly? Um... Cold in New Jersey. 
All right, I'm just scrolling up to see if I've missed. Going to be 40s where Lynn is. Okay. Watching from Anaheim, California. That's a good place to be eating. I'm here. I am thinking about food. I must be really hungry. Uh, we went to. We spent two weeks in. We were two summers ago. We went to L.A. for a week and we went to San Diego for a week. There is good eating in California. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Everything is so fresh there. Uh, we loved it. That was. Um, we took the kids. My daughter graduated high school. Mark and I. It was our twentieth an wedding anniversary. And Jaden turned 16. So we kind of did a big, a big family vacation that year. But now we have to pay for college. So there is no, there's no family vacations like that. Vacations are off. Vacations are off until gr college graduation comes. Been there. Um, seven degrees in Northern Maine. I'm not going to complain about it being cold, Patricia. But I would love to be in Northern Maine just to see it. Oh, I would too. Wouldn't that be fun. Except one place I always wanted to see, never had. Dad and I are going to be taking out. We're going to be going on a little trip to Florida this spring to go visit John. Before John comes and back. Jane. Great morning to you, Tammy. Have a good day at work. Um, so, I guess what time is it, Dad? We got to open up the shop in fifteen minutes. My plans today are to list these Christmas tree ornaments that I got from Goodwill in grab bag lots. And it, look in the bags at Goodwill. Hi, NASCAR man. I haven't saw, talked to you in a long time. Hope you're well. The grab bag items, at least at my Goodwill, they are $2.99. And it's just, a lot of it's junk, but... I bought all these. Mom and I bought, she bought some too, and she got a really good one. Oh, she but, did. Yeah, she got a really good one. But these so Christmas good. ornaments, like this is a Barbie one from the year 2000. They sell, all of these ornaments sell between, I don't know, 10 and, no, about 9 to $15, the ones that I did. But I paid $2.99 for the entire bag. Wow. So, I mean, there's money to be made in these Christmas tree ornaments and they don't they're easy to ship and they're easy to take pictures of so why not you don't have grab bags at your goodwill oh that would make me mad because that's a treasure that's treasure hi vintage venture happy friday Ugh, i hope everybody's ready for christmas christmas has just snuck up this year it just came out of nowhere thanksgiving was late that i think has just messed with everybody um, Dad, are you ready for Christmas? You have all sure. your shopping done. I do. He doesn't do I shopping. Went to the bank yesterday. Yeah, that's a, that's his Christmas shopping. He goes to the bank. That's okay, because we like those Christmas presents, right? Right, Dad. What? They're easy. <laughs> <laughs> What's in that jar? What jar? Right there. Oh, I brought Dominoes? this down. No, this is some of that stuff I bought. Oh. It's got blocks in it, no, blocks and then and some those. felt pins or... Yeah, okay. I'll put them in here. So hopefully we'll be busy today. Um, so yesterday I had Seth, our, our employee, our little blessing, Seth. We love Seth. He worked yesterday. He's home on Christmas break from college, and he's going to work Saturday, and then I'm going to be closed next Thursday. And then after the holidays, I am going to go, I'm going to have some winter hours at the shop and I'm going to only be open Fridays and Saturdays. The Thursdays in, in anticipation of the busy holiday season were not as busy as I had hoped they, that it would be. And honestly, it, I, I, I'm not going to make money if I'm just sitting here waiting on people to come in. So I can be making money in other ways or spending Thursdays kind of cleaning and getting things ready for in here. So that's what we're going to do for Thursdays. Tell your dad, I love the treasures your dad finds. Well, thank you. Yeah. I enjoy. He does find some good that, treasures. That's what I enjoy doing, getting out and looking, finding, buying. And yeah. That's my, I hate selling, but I love to buy. Yeah. He doesn't like to sell. Sometimes I have to say, well, this isn't a museum, dad. 
We're here to sell things and make money. Uh, vintage toy section. I'll go over there. Um, Tell my have a whole lot of stuff upstairs. Yeah, he does have a whole lot of stuff upstairs. Let me turn the camera. Bring it down. I won't let you bring it down right now because I'm not. We've got to get all this Christmas stuff put away, and then we'll redo the shop. Toy section is a little is a little, weak. little weak right now. We have sold a lot of things for the holidays. Um, it, it's truck. yeah, the truck. This truck is something that I need to put online. This is the uh, value twenty V store. I have yeah, I have three hundred and fifteen dollars on that truck. But Good let me tell you, <laughs> it's not going to happen here in Bedford. No. But it is Worth a it. rare truck. Um, I need, and it's in, all the pieces are there. It's complete. I need to put that on eBay because right. it's just not going to sell. And here. this one, Misty, this one's kind of neat too. Yeah. That was it. Well, I bring it down. I don't want to go up there because I always, I always go offline when I go up there. Thank you, Heidi. My dad is a good treasure finder. He is. That's my life. Um, I do have this really cool transistor radio. That's kind of neat. And the lunch boxes, we I had a, I had a customer come in and brought he brought a bunch of lunch boxes and I bought all the ones that he had. This ET one still has the thermos. I have twenty two dollars on it. And then we have Goofy Sport, uh, nineteen dollars on him, and then Yogi Bear. He doesn't have his thermos. He's twenty three dollars. The Flintstones. This one's a, be, a a really good one. I have $45 on him, and I, honestly, I probably will start listing these lunch boxes on eBay soon because the people that have, will shop in the store, has already they've already picked the ones that they wanted, and these are the ones that they're not wanting, so I know that somebody, somebody, somebody will want them. Um, and, oh, where's that truck, Dad? Oh, it was the city. Oh, the city truck. service truck. It's got problems. Yeah, yeah it's missing. It's truck. missing some wheels. So and then, one wheel. um, yeah. Well, the one wheel is missing and it's off. And the crane. And then I have this cute little hula girl. I know NASCAR man, you want this hula girl, right? Um, I think that's neat. I think it's neat too. Look at her. I, I love things with eyelashes, and she's got this blue eyeshadow. Um, Six dollars and fifty cents on her. I know the Flintstones lunchbox is really cool. This side's actually better. I think as it, yeah, it's different sides. This one's, I mean, it's got a little bit of wear to it. Because, you know, these lunchboxes got beat to heck when they were in our backpacks. I had a um, cabbage patch one and a strawberry shortcake one. I actually still have my lunchbox and my husband's lunchbox. This one does not have the thermos, but the ET one does. It has the thermos on the inside. You might be interested in the ET lunchbox. Okay, well, let, send me an email. My email, once this gets exported, my email will be in the description. So send me an email, and if it's something that you want, then I'll take it home with me and get it weighed and everything. Thermos? I don't believe it does. The ET one is the only one that has the thermos. Oh, it does have it. Yeah. Okay. You can never wear enough blue eyeshadow, I agree. Uh, okay. Yeah, the, the, the lunch, the, the lunch boxes, they're in decent condition. This one's in really good condition. This is probably the one that's in the best condition. And it's an Aladdin. And what do I have? What did I say I have on? Oh, it's 1983. And it's in really good condition. Sorry, I'm probably not even showing you. This piece of art I need to put online. This is that pebble art. It's a creepy clown. But this stuff is people like, and this is just beautiful. Look at this inlay on the frames. Yeah, we have a lot of artwork um, and old photos and that kind of stuff. And look at this. See this huge one up here? I, in the right spot, that would be gorgeous, I think. And it's signed. I got this at an auction. I just liked it. The frame is like a plasticky frame, so it's not a wood frame. But in the right space, I love the colors on it. I just think thought it was pretty. All right. Okay. I can't wait till you get up to check out the store, too. So, um, what time is it? I got to keep 10.52. I have to keep my eye on the 
on the clock because I need to open the shop. Um, let's see. What else shall we look at? Um, now, a friend of mine makes these signs that you see, like this one here, the laundry sign. So, Nancy, if you're watching, she makes these. Wine tastes better with friends. $9.99. These make great gifts, too. People come in just to buy Nancy's signs. I have a ton of these Girl Scout patches that I don't know. I Some of them could be worth something, but... I'm not going to sit and look through them all. Um, okay. Thank you, Jennifer. It's messy right now because I've not really, I've just kind of, I'm trying to sell the stuff and then <laughs> over the holidays and then w during the time that we're, that we're not open, I'll transform the shop again and move some furniture around. Actually, the guy that made the table back here, Toby from Jubilee Barn, sold the table and he's bringing in another table. So I have to clean all that stuff off and, and get that ready for another table to be. I don't have any. I do get 80s action figures. I don't have any right now, but it is something that I buy. Um, hang the clown picture in a kid's room until you're clip. That's how Santa's keep. Yeah, he's like elf on a shelf. There's a clown on the wall. Okay, Jennifer, did your friend make the old holy night sign? Yes, she did, Lynn. She sure did. You're it. I'm interested in one of the and the Indiana signs. This one, I have this one, Jackie. I have a smaller one that my daughter painted. This one, um, Toby that makes the tables. His daughter painted this one. It's on a piece of barn wood. It's eighteen dollars, and I think do i have another i know i sold just looking to see if i have a i have a smaller one too if you'd rather have a smaller one i'll have to see if i can find it i had two of them was it over here i'm gonna try not to make you sick i'm gonna try to walk slow so i'm not making anybody sick Oh, let's see. Where is it at? This is what happens, too, when you move things around a lot. Someone will be asking to buy something, and you're like, oh, it's over here. No, it's not over there anymore. I had two of them, but maybe we sold them both. I'll look, Jackie, but that one is $18 if you're interested in that big one. And I'll see if I can find the smaller one. All right, let me see the... Yeah. Um, boop, boop, boop. All right. So I'm going to have to get up, end up get, um, signing off. Dad just left. So I don't know where. Oh, and he left the door unlocked again, Dad. But it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and unlock it anyway because I got to. Here's my open sign. Come in. We're open and awesome. And then close. Sorry, we're closed, but we're still awesome. Turn that around. And, ooh, maybe the, no. This, I thought this maybe was a bus full of people coming in. No. The attorney next door to us, they have a holiday party. And all their employees will be getting on that bus on the limousine and going to their holiday party. Must be nice. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'll look, Jackie. I'll look and see if I can find the smaller one. Um, how did the force shop flow go? How did the forced shop flow? Oh, that, okay. Um, what she's talking about is, see, we have this tree here. When people walk into the store, we normally would have just this main aisle, and they could go this way, and they could go that way. But what we figured out is people weren't going this way. They were always going this way. So everything that I had over here was kind of getting not seen and, and overlooked. So we forced them. They can't go this, this way. They have to go that way. Um, I don't know. Not real great because I don't sell hardly anything from the blue section. So I'm going to figure out. I'm going to move this cabinet somewhere else because... Or I need to get better lighting. It's very dark over there. So I... I, I I don't know. I'm going to have to figure something something else to put here to make it 
brighter and like, look at me kind of thing. Because I've not, I've not been selling anything out of there. It's weird how everything over here gets overlooked. I don't understand. Even forcing people to go this way, they just, it needs to be brighter. I think that's a lot of the issue. I need to add more lighting over there. And it needs to be bright, like, look at me kind of deal. Um, so, it's been going good. I mean, people do walk this way, but for some reason, this wall doesn't sell a lot of stuff. I don't know why that is, but it doesn't. So, I don't know. I'll have to figure something out. I need the arrow sign from Two Broke Girls. Yeah, I know. Move the yellow over there. Yeah, I need to do some. I think, honest, I think I need to add some lights. I think that's a lot of the issue. Um, do I have any lighter furniture I can move there? Um, yeah, I do. I do. I, I'm going to, I'm going to, well, how nothing ever sells over here. I think it's because it's so dark. So we need to, I need to make it, I need to, I need to light it up. I'm using abstract color. It blends. Yeah, I know. It, it is blending in. But again, see, like over here, I have a lamp on top of that cabinet. I think I'm going to do that over here, too. Or even get one we, of my tall well, lamps we do, put there. And if you plug it in there. but it, It's just really, there. really. Uh, yeah, there's one behind this cabinet. Okay. It's just really, really dark. Hey, Dad's back. I thought you left. Well, I moved for... Got a limousine out there. Oh, you moved? For, are you go? Is, did you go? Look. Did you send that limousine for us? Are we going on a party? Yes. Oh this boy! Is a surprise. No, birthday. it's the attorney. They they do this every year, and we we're stuck here all day. That's okay though. All right. Well, guys, let me turn the camera back around. I have customers coming in, so I'm going to go ahead and go. And thank you for joining me. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Share my channel with your friends. It really does help my channel grow. I'll just put it on the, on the counter. And um, I will see you in my next video, which will be on... I might do one this weekend. We'll see if I can get it edited. But see you guys later. Hey, Merry Christmas. Merry everybody. Christmas. Glad to see you here from you. See you again.